in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting with Glory's Comet and Good Times, leaving the most along the inside, and Moneymaker is going to tuck in from third. Here's B Corps Pete sent up on the outside from fourth. Lookout Victory is eased away in fifth. That's Magician taken sixth in line around the first turn, and Turnpike Token will be in the trailing position. It's Good Times on the inside, B Corps Pete on the outside, Glory's Comet right there at tight third. Eased off the speed from fourth by about four more lengths. That's Moneymaker. They were on down to the quarter, battling still in. 27 and 4 and B Corp Pete hard tested in the first of three turns is the leader as they come to the wire the first time and Glory's Comet is already up and moving. B Corp Pete made front here comes Glory's Comet and Campbell to the lead. Glory's Comet now taking over from B Corp Pete. Good times back in third. Money maker Wally Hennessy brings her to the outside from fourth. She's going to try to clear quickly. Look out victory trotting five back. Then Magician and Turnpike token 50 seven and two half mile rating and money maker is now in front that's money maker leading it by a length on glory's comet around that turn b corp pete hard used early is back in third good times following up from fourth lookout victory stayed in from fifth magician is sixth on the outside and turnpike token is tipped up from seventh money maker in the mohawk backstretch a rapid attack on the outside magician is driving up quickly money maker trots on that's magician on the outside. Glory's Comet now back in third. Turnpike Token is fourth on the outside. B Corp Pete is fifth. Then Lookout Victory and trailing is good times. They pass three quarters in 127 and four. That's Moneymaker trying to put away this protracted challenge of Magician into the final turn. Trying to rewrite modern day history is Moneymaker. She still hasn't disposed of Magician into the final turn. Glory's Comet is on the inside third. Turnpike Token fourth on the outside and then it's back to B Corp Pete look out victory and good times trailing upcoming next the mile rating in 155 and 4 that was money maker tested 28 seconds in the fourth quarter less than three eighths to go and they turned for home in the 1999 trotting classic series final money maker tested every step of the way magician finally holds up the white flag and goes to the inside second here comes lookout victory third on the outside and b Corp pete is back out for the drive from fourth money maker wally hennessy goes to the bottom with her Money Maker is the world's ultimate money maker. She's won the 99 Trotting Classic final over Magician and Lookout Victory and B Corp Pete. Money Maker rewrites world horse racing earnings history and she's made herself chapter one. And certainly chapter one is the queen of trotters. Gentlemen, uh, Moneymaker just became the richest standard bread in the world, uh, passing Peace Corps' mark. And one of the, uh, in fact, two of the connections are joining us now here on uh, the OJC Television Network. It's Wally Hennessy, a native of Prince Edward Island. And uh, Wally, you've been driving this horse throughout her career. Uh, she's must be just like a wife to you. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd go that far, but uh, she's been something special to to me and to everybody that's ever been connected with her. And it was nice to win here tonight and become the richest standard bread. And She's just done it all, whether she's been good or bad, she still finds ways to win, and uh, the guys that have uh, been trained and working with her, they've done a tremendous job, and makes my job easy. I'll tell you, David Miller didn't make it easy on you tonight, did he? No, um, I, I, I moved her here coming by the grandstand the first time. We were going pretty good there, but when John made the front, he slowed down a little, and uh, I thought I was going to get a breather when I got to the lead, and I just started to get the breather, and, and Dave came with Magician, and that horse won a tremendous race there tonight, but uh, she just has such a will to win. It's, it's unbelievable, and uh, like I said before, it makes my job easy. Okay, let's bring in uh, Jimmy Tactor. Jimmy, congratulations to you. Uh, you were pretty emotional in the winter circle. This must mean a lot to you, especially when you're from uh, across seas in Europe and trotters are what uh, you horsemen train over there. Well, definitely, you know, it's a big honor to train, uh, you know, the richest standard bread in the business and uh, just be involved with this horse has uh, been a great experience for me. Now, what is going to happen to Moneymaker now? Is she heading back to Europe? Uh, is she going to be bred? Is she going to continue to race? What's the deal? She's flying on Monday to Milano and racing uh, in uh, San Siro uh, the 14th of uh, November. Will we see her back in North America next year racing, possibly here at Mohawk and Woodbine? Yeah, we hope we're going to be able to, uh, you know, race her another year, and uh, that's our goal anyway. Okay, Jimmy Tacker, the trainer, Wally Hennessy, the driver. Let's hear it one more time for the world's richest horse ever, Moneymaker.